So, hi, it's Joyce, and I'm here with my husband, Anthony. And so, I am a teacher in the Toledo Public Schools, and so uh, we always take a trip toward the end of our my summer vacation. Anthony's retired. So we started off with Australia. Yeah. You post, yes, posted we did. the videos I took right. of Australia. So we had a wonderful time in Australia. we always end with a more local trip. That's right. We frequently, we love to kayak, so frequently we go kayaking. But this time I decided I wanted to explore a little bit more of my state. So we live in the state of Ohio. And as a teacher, I teach my children the highest point in Ohio is Mount Campbell. And, or Campbell Hill. Mount Campbell isn't right. So it's Campbell Hill. It's nothing like a mountain, trust me. And it's not where people expect it to be. Because if you go in southeastern Ohio, you get very, very tall hills. They are part of the foothills of the Appalachians. But they're in a valley. So they don't rise as high. And... Campbell Hill is not that far away from us. About two hours, right? Hour and a half. Drive, yeah. yeah. So it's like, why would it be? Well, there's plateaus that were left from the glaciers. And so just the buildup of the till in that area made Mount Campbell. I keep calling it Mount Campbell. <laughs> Campbell Hill. Campbell Hill. Yeah, it's a hill. Campbell Hill being the highest spot in the state. So we just took a quickie visit to see the highest point and actually put our eyeballs on it and get our names on the log there and right. say we were there we got a little certificate and, and yeah you wanted to see some of the other geographical yeah, features some of the features so, right what what is it called well or, the edge of the plateau the and plateau so the escarpment edge, of the... it so we think we saw a good spot of it actually in the parking lot of the ohio caverns <laughs> <laughs> we live in northwest ohio which is flat. Extremely flat. <laughs> Extremely flat. <laughs> uh, we're in the Lake Plains, and it is absolutely a plain. Um, we're so, in a bit of a bowl. <laughs> unless you get to the southeast corner of Ohio, you ro uh, really don't have hills. Now, high. even east of Cleveland, you get oh, much yeah. more rolling. But Toledo area, northwest yeah. Ohio, very flat. Yeah. So, anyhow. So, yeah. What was your experience uh, with uh, Campbell Hill? Well, to be honest, I thought it would have been fun to have parked lower and climbed up it. <laughs> As we went around and got level with it, but I enjoyed seeing it. When you think of a top of a hill, right. you, you're expecting there to be a hill, and then you see everything around. Right. What was on the top of Campbell Hill? A high school and a radar. Yeah, uh, old. Yeah, an old NORAD uh, mm -hmm. def uh, air defense system right, is up at the top tells of the you hill. they knew it was high. <laughs> <laughs> it was high enough, yeah. They put well, the, that's what you're going to find This was part of Norad's defense in case the <laughs> so, Russians attack through Canada. That's um, right. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I've um, always taught my students, though, that they are so used to Ohio being very flat. And I said, once you get out of Toledo area, northwest Ohio, hill to, the, most of Ohio is actually rather bumpy. It undulates It's, it's a has bit. hill. It undulates to having, I say you go southeastern. Ohio, I always thought those hills look so good so, to sled down. So you'll see it big. in the video. There's a so little stone video. X. Yes. This Stand is, here. This is the point. Yes. This and we point. narrated through it. So we'll save the rest of that for and the then video. We but. did try to see the <laughs> yeah. the um, plateau precipice. And I would have liked a good place but to put it in. Overall, how did you feel about your little trip out well, in the middle of nowhere? I enjoyed it. I thought it was nice to actually see these areas that I've been reading about all these years. And okay. Try to explain it to my students without actually seeing it. You know, it's not as good as actually seeing it. Yep. So we hope you and our friends enjoy this uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, little... Close to home. Close to home uh, uh, mini vacation. Right. Uh, showing you one of the sites of... Uh, the natural sites of Ohio. Right. All right, we just found another area we feel we are climbing. So you just get and that general up to get up again. curling up the side of the hill. Or Campbell Hill, we're heading back up that way. It's pretty cool. All right, we are at the highest point in Ohio, which quite honestly, nobody thinks is very, um, you know, not a very big deal. We're at 1,549 feet above sea level. Uh, it is a little bit higher than 
the area around it, which I guess makes sense. So there are, uh, you know, some things of interest in Barbie walking. Now that is Anthony up here, so he's usually the one filming, and he probably is right now. But you're just hearing me. So, uh, see if we can get off the sun here for a little bit. So that is the history of this. Let me turn it this way. So, okay. And so, uh, just some interesting facts. This is the, if you go along this line of latitude, this area is the highest point between the Appalachian Mountains and the Rocky Mountains. Um, if you just go by the area itself, this is the highest area from here to Nebraska. Everything is lower. Everything else is lower than that. So um, just, you know, it's just one of those places I've read about and have um, wanted to go see it. I know that it is not much of a hill at all. In fact, we drove right up to it. We didn't even walk. But you've got some... Yeah, it's because the whole area is rising up. I mean, we right. were coming up hills driving in. Oh, sure. We, yeah, it was. And that's the thing. Even though it doesn't stand up that impressively high, this whole area is But unfortunately, is when you stand here, it feels, you know, saying this is the highest point in Ohio and the highest point between the Appalachians and the Nebraska. It's like saying somebody had the biggest breast in an olive oil look-alike contest. <laughs> Right, so the uh, uh, this area is actually part of what is known as the Till Plains. There, uh, we had glaciers that went over Ohio, three major glaciations, but a whole bunch of little ones also went over this area and they would come and they'd retreat and they'd come and they retreat. So they left behind just fantastic soil everywhere around this area there's just uh, agriculture mostly corn is what we saw because ohio typically grows um its two biggest crops are corn and soybeans i don't think we even saw very many soybeans it was all corn out here so um that's just some interesting facts about our home state where we live and so oh what else did i want to say um, yeah, so there's, a, with the glaciers, there are areas um, that have, uh, that are considered plateaus. And a big map, this looks like it's just the plains. When you get to a more specific one, this is a plateau area too. So I've always been curious, where are the drop-offs on these plateaus? And of course, there really isn't one because they've been uh, eroded over the years. They've really rounded out, but... Anyway, so we got a bit of a view. Yeah, that way it looks taller, so. Anyway, uh, most people think the highest areas in Ohio are in the southeastern part of our state. And we do have very big hills. And they are classified as foothills to the Appalachians. So you're down there and they look so big. The issue is that's part of the Ohio River Valley. So those hills are in a valley. So they're starting from a much lower area. So I did, um, you know, side I was on a lot of arguments is, well, if you scrape the till off, this bedrock is about six feet lower than another area. <laughs> but you're not scraping off the till, so here it is. So anyway, I think that's probably the best I've got. So, uh, yeah, there's a... Uh, it's hard to spin like that. Yeah, we were seeing coming up, we saw some that. Anyway, there's a high school right here. So that's kind of interesting. We still have some area off there that's off limits, and they still have the radar. Right, because, yeah, we saw the radar coming up. So, anyway, I just want to. Last thing I'm going to show you because I don't know if I got it. Okay, they have a little visitor registration and points of interest. Highest point in Ohio, and sign here, you're on camera, and they're on camera too. So Ohio, high point. So anyway, I think that's pretty cool. Hope you liked it too. All right, now it doesn't look like much because it's hills all around, but this is 
Campbell Hill. Appalachians, Appalachians and the Rockies. And the Rockies. Okay, um, if you just consider the general area, this is the highest point. It looks like nothing, doesn't it? It is the highest point. Anyway, so we got a bit of a view. <laughs> you know, that way it looks taller. So. Anyway, yeah, you can see way out, out there. there. the till off, this bedrock is about six feet lower than another area. <laughs> well, you're not scraping up the till. So this actually used to be a anyway, Air Force base in part of NORAD. So, um, yeah, there's so a, the uh, 664th Aircraft Control and Warning Squadron yeah, here is part of the North American Air Defense Command, NORAD. And now you still have some area off there that's off limits and they still have the radar going. Right. Yeah. The radar antenna is here. See that? So yeah, this hill like there's taller hills in Toledo, but you got we're we're on the cusp of a hill which is then a hill and you go just past that tree line those buildings there and then it goes down further so it's a hill that kind of comes up like this and then flat and then up again so it's a very wide broad hill and so now there's a school up here we weren't sure we were even in the right place <laughs> it's like wait this is taking us into a school and there's actually gates on the school that you have to get out of before they lock them or you're <laughs> stuck here So again, Ohio's highest point, which <laughs> really means nothing. You look way in the distance, you see those, but that is that is way in the distance. Those hills way in the background there. So you're not officially on the highest point until you stand there. There you go. Now you're on the highest point in, in Ohio, which, as said, is sort of like having the biggest boobs in an olive oil cloning contest. It's really not... <laughs> impressive. I'm sorry, I've stood on the Zugspitze and other mountains in the Alps. Yeah, and it doesn't look like Toledo. No, no, this is... But there are actually hills in Toledo that where, where you are down there looks taller. that you know. come up, you you'd feel like you walked up yeah. higher. <laughs> Hell, the old filtration hill was about this high. Yeah. <laughs> it's because it's broad. It goes out and then it drops off just beyond that tree line and that there. So, okay. All right, so this is the National Air Defense Radar Museum. <laughs> so part of the old air defense system. High school. It's pretty wild. Depth. Yeah. Oh, I just went for a video. So we are headed to Indian Lake. And just getting some of the vistas. See, we're in the car. See some of the vistas you can see. 
two-lane road, though. It's so hard to see depth. Yeah. It will come out on the on video, but, but when you're okay. looking into the camera. Stop it for now. Because I need to focus on the road, and I can't look when I, yeah. very well when I see what we're looking for. All right, so we are heading back from Indian Lake, and if, it's probably hard to see here. You might have to zoom in a little bit, or I should. Uh, we're getting back up into the hill area, so we figure Campbell Hill's somewhere back up here. But you can tell that it's getting hilly. So you can tell there's hills in the distance, so we're going to be climbing here. Um, actually, I don't know. Yeah, you probably can see the road. It is going to be climbing up here, so we definitely yeah. have to go up From a From the distance, you can see the hills. Yeah. Once you get in here, You're then you don't realize there are hills. Right. Okay, so if you look out there we're starting to find what we think is the edge of the plateau and over the thousands of years since the glaciers have left Ohio um, it's been very heavily eroded and so you're not going to have a really sharp edge but we're kind of think we're seeing the edge this there. This is kind of the precip precipice that's here. That's what we that's... think would be the edge of the plateau. So, yeah, and erosion, mm -hmm. thousands of years of rain, yeah, he's and rounding it out and everything and else. Human mm -hmm. cultivation and agriculture have flattened it a bit. You know, when you take yeah. out all the trees, erosion. Right. Because well, you got to think, five thousand years ago, this was all trees. Right. And so, by removing the trees, the erosion's kicked in, and the hills aren't as high as they used to be. But yeah, mm -hmm. I can. This definitely is the ridge of a plateau area, you know, right. sort of right here. So the glaciation kind of flattens everything through the valley here and mm -hmm. left the hills. So yeah, and again, it's not as impressive as some other areas we've seen. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's Ohio. And it's Ohio. Uh, it's home. So yeah, it's right, pretty cool. Not far from the Ohio caverns, but yeah, I don't think we're gonna pop into it. And over the thousands of years. Since the glaciers have left Ohio, um, it's been very heavily eroded. And so you're not going to have a really sharp edge, but we're kind of think we're seeing the edge but that that's, you think would be the edge of the plateau. So. Yeah, and erosion, mm -hmm. thousands of years of rain it's and, hu and, and human mm -hmm. cultivation and agriculture have flattened it a bit you know when you take out all the trees erosion you know because you got to think 5,000 years ago this was all trees right. and so by removing the trees the erosions kicked in and the hills aren't as high as they used to be but yeah I can this definitely is the ridge of a plateau area you know right. sort of right in here so the glaciation kind of flattens everything through the valley here and mm -hmm. left the hills so, yeah, and again, it's not as impressive as some other areas we've seen, yeah. but it's, it's Ohio, and it's Ohio. Um, it's home, so yeah. we're actually not far from the Ohio caverns, but yeah. I don't think we're going to pop into them. So, again, you can see here, we're actually on the side of a hill here where the caverns go down in. Um... But again, you can see how it just, it's flattened through there. Just so we were over through there mm -hmm. and kind of showing you this area behind this tree this way. But then you've got this last hill and then it really flattens and goes that way. All that way until you see the hills way in the distance okay all right so now we're on that level that we were looking at from above and so we're really right at the edge of it edge of the plateau it's pretty it's very hilly you know for flatlander standards it's very hilly enjoyed 
watching that. It was a little different, but, um, you know, I love stuff like that. I love my state, and uh, it just was, uh, it was good to to see what I've been teaching about, I guess is the best way to word it. So hopefully you liked it, and, uh, you know, might have found it a little bit interesting. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Bye. Bye now.